for many years, all throughout my adulthood, I chose not to drive and own a car. During my early adulthood, like um, out of like um, economic necessity, like um, we, I didn't like um, have a car, you know, like um, and I saw the benefits of it, you know, like uh, of taking advantage of public transport, like um, which is like um. But buses for me, you know, because I could like um, get around to like uh, many places. I go uh, all like um, through uh, like Seattle, <laughs> and like um, my husband does not drive e either. Like um, but like um, because of visual differences. And even like um, where we live, you know, it's about like um, 40 kilometers like um, south of Seattle in Pacific Washington, we get along fine without a, a car, you know, like um, if you want to go anywhere dur during like um, week weekday or, or Saturday, you know, it's just a five minute walk to the bus stop. And if we want to go anywhere, like on early Saturday morning or on Sunday, like um, we walk about like two kilometers to another bus th that runs more regularly, and it suits our needs. And you know, like um, I, re I realize, you know, that public transport is not accurate for many people, if not most, the way it is. Like, um, and I enjoy the freedom that it, that it offers, you know? Like, um, I just like, um, allow extra time to go to places and still it's a saving of time, you know, like, um, compared to, you know, like um, if I were to get a car, then I would need to work full time outside of the home to just afford it. So like um, this way I could just walk at home.